Hello everyone, today I'll be doing a solo Grandmaster run, Luminality or Luminality with Hunter. For my subclass, I'll be using Night Stalker. Here are the mods and fragments I'll be using for this video. For my kinetic, I'll be using the pulse rifle with kinetic tremors. Next, I'll be using a solar sidearm. And then for the heavy, I'll be using dragon's breath. And for the helmet, I'll be using the graviton forfeit. By the way, you can skip this chapter. But I do want to let everyone know that this is going to be a solo Grandmaster completion, not Platinum Rank. The reason why I didn't do the Platinum Rank, well, I didn't have time. Two, when Luminality was out the first time, I was minus 35 or maybe 36. I don't remember 100%. I do remember the boss was one-shotting me all the time. And then the champions were extremely tanky that time. And the champions were two-shotting me. And the wizards were melting me. It just wasn't worth it. And then by the time I went to the boss fight, it was 45 minutes or 50 minutes. And funny story, I did platinum rank on Master, on Master Nightfall, but I didn't upload it because, well, it was a test run. It was over an hour run. Anyway, those are the reasons why I couldn't get platter rank. I mean, you know, life is life. You know, it's just not worth my time to even when it was extremely difficult to level up the artifact power to get this solo done efficiently. Also, another thing I like to mention is if you are one of those players who get butt hurt if it's not a platter rank, then I recommend you watch another video because. If I have to be super honest, I have done so many platinum rank GMs even before GM. I have been doing solo nightfalls before GMs was a thing and before champions was a thing. Before champions existed, I've been doing solo nightfalls for a really long time. I even lost counted because I was doing solo nightfalls on Xbox and I moved to playstation so anyway that's all i wanted to say because i still have a lot of ranting but i'll talk about it another day luminality 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 everyone's favorite gm everyone's favorite knifle now people say the hollow layer is easier than luminality which is completely false. Hollow Lair GM is way more hard luminality. So yes, I am going to be skipping a bunch of champions. And the reason why is, well, I just didn't have time for this. I didn't really have time to get the platinum rank. I was too focused on doing some testing runs. And you know, funny story. I actually did get platinum rank on the master. Nightfall, and the reason why I would mention Master Nightfall is because I found out GMs is minus 20, not minus 25. And then Master Nightfall is minus 20. Isn't that hilarious? Yes. I'm not even joking over exaggerating. I was doing some testing with the power level, and it's the same, same damage as the Master Nightfall, which I didn't know, but since now I found out GMs are completely at the ruin it's confusing as Bungie so there are actually two champions but I'm gonna skip them I did try out using a submachine gun on this area and actually works but unfortunately you know I didn't have time to record that run and yes we are gonna skip this barrier champion Usually you hide behind this wall and then you take him down quickly or use a super. But we're not going to do that. We're going to go for the hunter way. Why not just turn invisible, take advantage of it, and then just make your way to the next area. Now another thing I could do is I could skip the champions and then just focus on the shiny mini Arknights 
to deal with the mini waves. But I'm not going to do that so much. Mainly, I will take down the bear champions. All the bear champions. Except one. The last one in this area. But yeah, this is the area where we had to break the loosened seals. So you will clear a bunch of ads. And then this is when the wizards will appear. Now, for me, everyone's different. I like to take down the solar wizards if I see them. I try my best to focus on that than clearing the ads because the solar wizards are the ones are going to mess up your solo run or the fire team. That's the problem for this area. Now, someone may say is, yes, you can use prismatic and then just spam abilities. But no, we're not going to do these spam abilities, okay? This is a looter shooter game. We're going to be taking advantage of using weapons. And yes, I will be using Dragon's Breath. We will see a bigger champion doing the ballerina twirl on the left side. Don't mind him. He's excited that, you know, we're actually having commentary on this Luminality GM. So everyone's different. I will just take down the wizards. But for the other subclasses, let's just pretend I'm a titan or a warlock. You pretty much have to spam abilities because the solar wizards actually try to run away from you. Yeah, it's really bizarre in this area because you have to clear the ads, then you have to take down these solar wizards, and then they run away from you, and then they start shooting arc. It's really frustrating and a nuisance. Trust me, I tried on a warlock, and it was pretty annoying, I'm not gonna lie, of them running away from me. There will be a bunch of arc knights that shoot solar as well, which already take them down. And let me just, let me just say that there will be a couple of the acolytes that you must take down and then the barrier champion. Yes, I was being a bit reckless there. I was just rushing through, taking advantage of Dragon's Breath. Now for this season, the artifact mod is to have more ignitions on solar weapons. Now I don't remember the name at the moment, but... It really works well with Dragon's Breath. Now, it would be more powerful if I was in a solar subclass. But it doesn't really matter too much. You can see proof here that if you are in a non-solar subclass or prismatic, the Dragon's Breath is pretty bungee powerful. And I'll talk more about that at the boss fight and the reason why I used dragon's breath for the boss fight which i was actually baffled and surprised because now we're gonna have the next mini phase sorry about that so i took down the arc knight and now we have two more loosened arc knights to take down now as i said before i like to take down the wizards first i don't really focus on the acolytes or the curse thrall so much mainly I would say the curse through all the yellow bars at the back side from the left side where I am. Just to make this area more easier for me because if I clear down the ads and I have to quickly take down the wizards and they're going to run away from me. But why not just use the solar sidearm, right? With two shots finisher. You know, might as well do ballerina twirls too. I mean, if you can't beat them, you just join them, right? And then you can deal with the curse thralls once you take down all the solar wizards. I know this is a slow method, but hey, we're going for the looter shooter method. We're not going to spam abilities, even though GMs are pretty much ruined. Like, really bad. I mean, I could go around for 20 minutes right now. But we're not going to go for that. We're going to focus on this area. So we did tick down the barrier champion. We're going to have more mini waves. And the good news is that it's not infinite. I thought it was in the beginning, but it's not. So what you could do is you could take down the Arc Knight. 
or the Lucent Knight, just to resume the waves and just to complete this objective faster. If you are going for a speed run, but we're not going for that method. Or you could just take your time clearing all the ads and then take down the Lucent Knight last. And of course take down the Barrier Champion because each wave you get a Barrier Champion. Now the third wave is a bit different. The third wave is instead of a L Lucent Knight, you know, a Lucent Arc Knight, it's going to be a Lucent Hive. And it's going to be the one that wants to be a Sentinel Titan. So be aware that the last wave is going to be a Lucent Hive. And he will follow you and try to use his super. And that's when you have to use your super to take him down quickly. If not, he's going to be roaming around to be a Sentinel Titan. You know, just go Psychopath mode. You know, just throwing shields everywhere, even though it has no idea what it's doing. Then you have to deal with that for five minutes of your life. If you don't have super, which is why I recommend save your super at the last wave. Or if you have enough heavy, you can use heavy Dragon's Breath to deal with it, to deal with the Lucent Hive. But honestly, I would just combo it with heavy and your super. But that's just me, by the way. Everyone's different. I mean, if you don't want to do that, go ahead and go with your transcendent spamming ability, ability, ability. All right. So now we're going to take down this seal keeper or this hive arc knight. So now this is the last wave. Now I decided to use Dragon's Bread, clear down as as much as I can, and make sure you take down the cursed thralls at the backside so they won't be in the way when you are doing DPS at the Lucent Hive. So I'm going to take down this wizard, and then eventually the Lucent Hive will spawn, depending how many ads you take down. Really depends on that. So now I'm just browsing around, I'm going to go double check, is there any cursed thralls in my way? Let's see. Nothing. All right. So Luz and Hive is going to be walking like a psychopath. All right. Looks like he's going from the left side. All right. Going to use his super. Going to use Dragon's Breath. Use my super. You know, he's going to be jumping. And then use Dragon's Breath again. Use Connect Tremors. And then I am going to crush the ghost and get the bungee out of here. I don't want to hang around in this area. And then of course there is a bigger champion you could take down. Because all the adds will disappear except the bigger champion. But we're going to skip him. So yeah. When you take down the Lucent Hive, it despawns all the adds. And yes, you can do damage to take down this Lucent Wizard. And then at the boss fight, you'll get a regular wizard. If you kill, if you take him down quickly. But we're not going to do that method. It's just a lot of work. We're going to go for the passive method where we go through this room of Fulmer Alchemist vibes. I guess I could say that. And then we're going to go down and deal with this Arc Knight. Well, kinda. I'm not gonna really take him down. I just wanna break the rocks. Then I'm gonna turn invisible and just skip him. I mean, there's really no point in me even hanging around in this area. I mean, he's not a champion. You know, nothing important. And yes, there is unstoppable champion, but we're gonna skip him. So now we're gonna go for this mini puzzle. So I'm gonna go for the hardest puzzle over here. And there's actually three different types of maze. So I'm going to take the orb and I'm going to see which maze is it. And it looks like it is the puzzle maze number, probably number two for me. But you know what? I'm just going to call it number one. I, I have my own little number codes of which maze is it. So there's actually three types of mazes. And I like to pick up and then drop the orb so I can see which one is it. So I can memorize the jump. So for this method, I like to go all the way from the edge from the stairs 
with no amplify. Slide, I jump, and then I slide again. Do not jump there. I go left or right and jump through the center hole for the wall. Then I go from the right side and go to the middle and get the hell out of there. So there are actually three puzzle mazes. This fixed jumps. The only RNG is the blight. Sometimes the blights appear, sometimes the blight doesn't disappear. It only works for this area. It doesn't work at the boss fight. Just to let everyone know that. So now we're going to go for the next one where you have to shoot all these taken orbs. Or taken eyes. I like to shoot three, jump. Then I'm going to jump from the other side or the left depending the RNG puzzle platforms. Then once I do that, I'm going to wait for the taken wall to disappear. Then I'm going to die. And then just get this puzzle done. Then we're gonna skip the unstoppable champion because let's just be honest, no one wants to take their time de DPSing the unstoppable champion. So anyway, just let everyone know, yes, the lava maze. There is three puzzles and they're fixed. It's not RNG. Second, you don't need Amplify to go through the jumping maze puzzle. Now people say you need Amplify. It's completely false. You don't need it. Trust me. I've been doing this test for a long time. And that's another reason why I didn't have time to do Platinum Rank. One, I was under leveled. You know, two, I was just doing some testing on Master Nightfall, the NGM. It was just a lot of things in my mind. Yes, we're going to skip more champions. But there's just only three types of the puzzle maze. And the RNG is the blight walls. Because they appear and then they don't appear. Really RNG for that. But for the puzzle maze, not so much. It's just three of them. And then for the boss fight, I haven't fully tested it 100%, probably 80%. I'm assuming it's probably two maze puzzles that is fixed. Or three if I miss one. Because I did try to go to the boss fight ten times. I only found two. So now we're going to go for the next area. Now everyone's different. I like to take down these snipers. Because they teleport everywhere. There's actually four of them. But two appear. Then they appear again. It's very awkward. Just make sure you take down the snipers because they're the ones that are going to mess up your fire team or your solo run. They're the ones that are going to give you a hard time. So then there's going to be the next wave where we're going to deal with more snipers. But you can see that they like to teleport everywhere. That's why I recommend you just take down the snipers. And be careful with the console aim assist. You could accidentally, you know, use a rocket on the taken thralls instead of the snipers. Also, another thing you could do is use your sidearm. See, I didn't really know so much about that until later on. I could just use my sidearm. To just do two shots and then finish her. So my bad for that. But just be very very careful with them. And then next will be the Taken Cabal that shoot the tracking blights. Those are the ones you must be very careful. Now I'm going to take down this champion. I mean pretty much you have to. Because if you leave him alone... He's just going to be walking around. He's going to jump on the area where you are. It's just not fun. Not worth it. So you might as well take him down. And he's pretty easy to take down. You can just stand on this platform and then just use your super. Now I'm going to go ballerina twirl with the taken thralls and acolytes. So don't mind me. I'm just trying to make this run a little faster. I mean, yes, I could use my weapons but trust me if you don't have a void weapon they're a nightmare which is why i'm using the dive 
to break the shield and then use finisher as well. And yes, this method does take a long time. I'm not going to say it's the fastest. It is the safest. And it's pretty fun doing ballerina tutorials too. So might as well just have fun with it. But isn't this fun? I mean, look at that. They really are pushing GMs to be infinite ads. And I really hate it. I really despise of what they're doing on the new strikes where they're making it infinite ads on some of the air especially battlegrounds i mean that's a different story but you know this area is all right it's not that bad i mean once you know the safe mini spots when going for the prismatic warlock or going for the melee method titan it's not so bad but it's just a bit annoyance that I had to spam abilities to get this done. Especially if you are in meta subclasses. But that's just me, everyone's different. I mean, some may argue and say they like it. For me, not so much. Especially of the direction they're going. I'm not really liking it at all. But you can see proof here, you know, I'm using a kinetic weapon. It's not really doing so much with the acolytes or the taken acolytes. They're actually doing a lot of damage on my character. That's why I decided to just spam ability while the dive. Alright, so now we're going to have these new enemies. I forgot what they're called. So we're just going to call them the bats. So we're going to have mini waves of snipers and I like to take down these snipers first and if I get a chance I can take down the grim or the grim bats. The reason why I want to take down the snipers is they can two shot or one shot you depending on your health. That's my problem with them. So there is four of the snipers so be aware to count them. And then once you count them, then you can take down the grim bats or the bat, the bats that are flying, you know, shooting their solar at you. But like I said, focus on the snipers, ignore the unstoppable champion until you take down the snipers. Then you can take down the grims. So right now, I'm trying to see if I could take down a sniper. He keeps teleporting everywhere. I mean, it is pretty frustrating. I mean, just teleporting and then we got these grim bats just shooting solar at me. It's just all over the place. I mean, they really thought this would be a really good idea. And I really despise this area. I mean, look at this. I'm almost, almost low on health. I was on red health there. Absolutely ridiculous. You know what's the funny part? I'm not even at the max power level for this GM. You know, the max power level is minus 20 for the GM. Yes, they changed it. So I'm minus 25 for this. Imagine if I had five more power level. I mean, it would be completely different. But like I said, I think the power level for GMs overall is broken. I mean, why is Master minus 20 and Grandmaster minus 20? That doesn't make any sense. Did you know that the Master Nightfall can be hard on a GM if it's togetherness or attrition that weak? If you don't believe me, try it out. Seriously. It's actually more harder than a GM. And I even, I'm even baffled even talking about it. No one knows about it because no one wants to talk about it. No one wants to mention about it. It's the damn truth, alright? It is the bungee truth. I know it'll make people upset, but I'm just being completely truthful and honest in my experience as well. Alright, come on. Take your thralls. Let me go ballerina away. We're gonna have more mini waves of ads. I'm just gonna keep spamming the dive. But then I saw the Taken Cabal where they shoot these blights. 
We really want to take them down, so I'm going to use Dragon's Breath. And then I'm just going to let the Incondition do its dirty work for me. I mean, look at that. Look how powerful Dragon's Breath is with the Artifact mod. It just makes life easier. Now we're going to go again. We're going to use Dragon's Breath again. Hopefully. But... Yeah, don't do that method. Just use your rocket. Don't even bother yourself of even trying to use your side on the Vector Shield unless it's an emergency if you have no rockets. But mainly you want to take down the Taken Cabal. You know, ignore the Taken Acolytes of Thralls until all of them are down. Alright. Trust me, you don't want to focus on just Taken Thralls when going for this method. Because you're going to have like 10 of them and they're all going to use their blights and then by the time you use your invisibility, you're going to get a one shot by all of it. It's not fun. I tried it because I was trying to figure out why I was getting so many of the Taken Cabal and why I was getting blights everywhere and the reason why is because I didn't take them down earlier. That's the reason why. And yes, no one talks about it because no one wants to mention about it. No, I mean, I, it's, it's the truth. No one will talk about it in this game. Like right now, everyone... Everyone is not so happy of what's going on with the game. I mean, I don't want to rant, but it's the truth. I mean, now there are some interesting things going on, but still, I'm going to be neutral. I'm not going to be excited at all. Because every time I get excited for something going on, it deceives me. So, just gotta be neutral. Can't be 100% excited. Have to be probably 40%. Probably, yeah, I would say 40%, not even 50%. 40%. Gotta be low neutral. So now we're gonna do more ballerina twirls. I mean, gosh, it just goes on and on. Now, just to let everyone know, I will do many time skip of doing DPS at the final boss, except the last phase. The last phase, I'm not gonna do that. I will, you know, I was thinking an idea of suffering, and then I want you guys to suffer too. You know, if I'm suffering, you might as well suffer. And plus, it was interesting because I was finding out some movements of what, how the boss was behaving, which I didn't know because no one told me. You know, I had to figure things on my own. So now we're gonna go for the next, the next mini wave. So I did use my super. I was a little reckless there. I had to be super honest, but I had to use my super quickly because I want to take down all these acolytes, all these taken cabal, and it was just go for it, make it or break it method. So now I'm going to be using Dragon's Breath again. I'm going to throw my grenade. I'm going to let Ignition do his dirty work. Just make sure you're not too close to it. You don't want to get burned from it. But yeah, this is pretty ridiculous. I mean, wow. They really want you to just spam abilities here. It's screaming. Spam abilities! Guardians! Spam abilities. So now we have all these Grims flying, doing the ballerina twirl, doing the barrel roll. I wouldn't even say ballerina twirls. They're doing barrel rolls in the sky. I feel like I'm having these Star Fox vibes right now. I mean, look at that. They're doing the barrel roll. I'm just trying to take them down with a rocket or with a sidearm. They're just not letting me shoot them. And then sadly, I had to switch to my kinetic. I mean, gosh, they just don't want to give up. And they're gonna have this mini boss, the new mini boss, which I forgot his name. So we're gonna take down, well, not fully take him down. I would say probably half his health ish. Because we're gonna see him at the boss fight. That's the problem with this strand mini boss. Just be very careful with him because he can suspend you. I was being a little reckless here. I was trying to take down the supple champion first and then deal with the mini boss. 
this mini stasis, not stasis, the strand boss, you will see him at the boss fight with half health. And if I have to be super honest, I really don't like the idea of having this guy and then having the wizard. It is a bit too much in my opinion, especially the boss fight. Like why is it a tormentor at the boss fight? I just wish it was something different. It's a giant, you know, tormentor that we see from Hypernet. You know, it's basically the Hypernet mini boss, but a, you know, bigger size, pretty much, and more annoying. It's just hideous, all right? Especially in the third phase, you just can't get precision shots, and it's so difficult to just snipe it, you know, with your two thumbs versus your whole hand for PC. Like, how the bungee Am I supposed to snipe through precision shots with my thumbs on a controller? How the bungee can I do that? That's difficult. With the auto assist. Yeah, this guy's pretty annoying. I mean, look at him. He's just going cuckoo for bungee puffs. He's just going from the left. He's just going crazy. Like, my goodness. He just doesn't want to give up. Like, my goodness, Strand Boss, can you just let me get on with this objective? My goodness, my goodness. It just wants me to swear. It wants me to curse in this video. Alright, now I'm gonna try to take down these ads. Now you can skip them. The reason why I'm taking them down is not because I'm terrified and scared of them. Because of this pit of lava. No, that's not the reason why. I'm just trying to get some heavy. Like this. See, look, there's heavy. Now, just to quickly grab it, and I'll be honest with you. I was surprised I didn't get lava damage from it. Because the last time I did it on Luminality Week... I was getting so much damage that wasn't even close to the lava. So there is a champion from the far, far right side. But we're not going to take him down. We're going to skip him. So now we're going to go to the boss fight. Yes, the boss fight. Isn't this going to be fun? And don't worry, I'm going to do a mini time skip on DPS because I know it's going to be so slow. With the boss going, fee, five, four, tormentor. So now the boss is gonna spawn. And then now we just have to clear, you know, a bunch of taken thralls and then do DPS at the boss.
All right, so now we're gonna do DPS the boss. So basically, you have to hide behind this wall and you have to shoot the shoulders. And he's gonna use this void attack with his spear. So what I did is I just turn invisible and then I just go back and forth, you know, so he can't see me. Then I use my super and yes, his health is extremely oof. Yes, I know that. So my weapons isn't going to be so great. And the reason why I used Dragon's Breath was just for the third phase. I was more interested of the third phase than the first and the second phase. If I have to be super honest. But yeah, I'm going to do a mini time skip here. I don't want to bore people to Bungie. So you just go back and forth. He's just going to walk really slow until the third phase. After spending five minutes of my life. Five minutes of my life. Can you believe that? It's just going... Now we're going to go for the next phase. Yes, there's going to be taking thralls. There's going to be a bunch of ads. And the good news is a tormentor disappear. He's just busy in his cocoon mode. And this is the mini phase where... There's probably going to be a champion here. If not, you must take down these Solar Knights. Try your best to take down the Solar Knights. That way you can get the ignition. That's the best advice I can do. I would recommend to save your super for dealing with the champion. So once you take down all these adds, then you can do the puzzle. So there is going to be... Of course, you can see Unstoppable Champion. Use your super to do DPS of the champion. And then after that, use your rocket to do ignitions to the champion. And the Solar Knight. That's another reason why I decided to go for Dragon's Breath. You can break the shield of the, you know, the Taken Knights. Because they're a pain to bungee, let's just be completely honest. And it just makes life easier, in my opinion. Like, Dragon's Breath is really good. People were telling me that Dragon's Breath is such a bad idea for Luminality. And I'm gonna say no, actually, Dragon's Breath is pretty good. I was shocked because I've been watching videos, they said Dragon's Breath is bad. No, it's a lie. Like I said, with the artifact mod, with the ignitions, with solar weapons, this is really good. It just makes life easier, trust me. You're gonna like this over a sniper, especially just using your thumbs. You're gonna love this. Now imagine if I did use a solar, well, a void weapon. I could break the shields a bit easier than just focusing on the dive for the invisibility. Now, people are going to argue, yes, I did use Graviton Lance on this GM. It's not worth it. It is not worth it. Trust me, the third, it's going to be cool. It's going to be a fast run. It's just the third phase is the problem. It's just not worth it. Trust me, I tried it. I done it. I was there. I was minus 35 on the GM, by the way, if anyone's wondering. That's why I didn't bother myself even going for platinum rank and getting the solo run because it was taking too long I was just way under power level so now I'm going to do the easiest method so we're going to go for the first puzzle where we have to take we have to take down the three waves of the taken eyes with the orb so what I like to do is I like to jump on the skull and then try to shoot the taken eyes at the front right now. So there's going to probably two or three. And then once you take down a couple of them there, then you pull back and then you can make your way taking down the taken eyes all the way back here because the lava rises up. 
Then you could just make your way and then dunk the orb to the skull. Now the trickiest part, in my opinion, is the last puzzle. Now, I haven't done 100% testing, but I'm going to guess there is probably three different fixed maze jumps. I only found two of them. Now make sure you are near the edge of the stairs and then just move forward. Move forward as much as you can. Like I said, there's probably two to three different maze jumps. And I probably got the easiest one if I had to be super honest. So make sure you move forward, try your best to go for the jumps, and then dunk the orb. And then also there's going to be the part where the boss may push you off the edge, which I completely forgot, if I have to be honest. So make sure you do the dive before it tries to make you jump to the wall. And then you might get hurt from the lava as well. So now we're going to be dealing with the Tormentor and then of course a bunch of Taken Thralls and Solar Taken Knights. So your first objective is to try your best to take down the Solar Knights. There's probably going to be another wave of adds while doing DPS the boss so I'll try my best to time skip the DPS of the boss. And if I see, you know, a at spawn, I'm gonna stop the time skip. But like I said, just make sure when you are diving, make sure you have a wall to protect you from the boss's solar, well, his void spear. Cause here's the problem. See, at the last phase, that's when he goes psychopathic mode, one. Two, he doesn't shoot one Void Spear blade. Oh no. I mean, if you think he shoots just one, <laughs> someone lied to you. All right, he shoots two and it takes almost all of your health. And if you are low power level, let's just say you're minus 30, he's gonna one shot you. And I know it sounds really harsh, but it's the truth, I test it. That's why I didn't go for solar on the luminality week. It just wasn't worth it. I wasn't power level, I, all right? Many people who did the solo were doing the micro XP artifact power to level up to 2018, all right? Or 2017 or 2020 i'm just being super honest right now i'm sorry and apologize if i'm being blunt i'm just telling the truth all right so now i'm going to do the dps mode and i'm going to do a mini time skip here so basically same thing you hide behind the wall you use your sidearm or your i would honestly just use your kinetic just take your time and then just keep doing dps back and forth after spending 6 minutes and 20 seconds of my life, I think, you know, the boss is just walking around, I mean, I'm trying to take down one of the shoulders, well, the next shoulder, hopefully he'll behave. I mean, he just keeps spamming that void spear over and over. Okay, finally I broke the two shoulder armor, and now we're going to have infinite amounts of taken thrall. Or Shadow Thrall, and then too many bosses, yes, and a bear champion on a cherry on top. And lava surrounding, which you need to be very careful because it can, I would say, three shot you, maybe four shot you, depending on the artifact power you are. So, yeah, we have a bear champion and we have a wizard. So, once you take down the wizard, then, you, then it's gonna spawn the Strad Mini boss. Yeah, I know. This this is ridiculous. Are you serious, Blitz? Yeah, I'm really serious. Why would Bungie even do that? I don't know. Hey, don't look at me. I'm not the designer here. But yes. Infinite Shadow Thralls. Number two. Hive. Loosened Hive Wizard. Or if you took him down quickly. 
right? Then it will just be a regular wizard. And then we got a bear champion. Now you're probably thinking right now, Blitz, why you're not taking down the bear champion? I'll tell you why. It is a silly answer, but it works for me. The reason why I'm not taking down the bear champion is because I want the stasis, well, I want the strand mini boss to focus on the bear champion so I can take him down quickly. Because the strand mini boss is extremely dangerous when you are not spamming abilities. Trust me, he is scary. All right, he can run faster than your hunter. All right, imagine that when he's aggressive. That's why I decided to leave the bear champion alone for now. Right now, I'm just going back and forth, clearing down all the ads. You don't really have to do this math, I mean, it's up to you. It's just me. Now, you have to be very careful when going to the right side of the map. Not this area. This area is alright, it's not so bad. You just have to be careful with the Barrier Champion. See, the problem is that the Lucent Wizard, she likes to throw Arc Pulse Grenades. Not at this spot. You're safe here. You just have to be careful with the fairy moth. That's about it. And then these shadow ticket thralls. Also, the reason why I'm shooting them is... Well, I really need some heavy bricks. That's the reason why. I know one or two of them get distracted and they just go after the bear champion. But like I said, everyone's method's different. I just like to take down the Shadow Thrall because they give me heavy. So make sure you take down the wizard and then crush the ghost. And be careful if the ghost is near the lava. Sometimes you get bad luck where it can just fall down to the lava. Which would be extremely annoying if I had to be super honest. So now we're gonna have mini waves of ads, and now we're gonna have this strand mini boss. Now I was having a hard time, and this doesn't really happen. For some reason, the strand mini boss was just after me than the bear champion. So be aware that sometimes this method doesn't work 100%, I would say 80%. For some reason, I was getting the unlucky 20% that this happened to me. So right now, I'm just roaming around the map because I'm waiting for this stasis, well, the strand mini boss. I'm waiting for the strand mini boss to be focusing on the bear champion instead of me. And it was pretty annoying. I mean, wow, he's just not behaving. He's not cooperating with me. I mean, I was a bit sad. I was disappointed. I was like, wow, I can't believe he would do this on this run. You know, he usually behaves on the other runs I have done. And for some reason, he doesn't want to do it. At all. He just doesn't want to show everyone, all the guardians here, the easy method. Or, you know, a funny method you can do. But anyway, I was waiting for him to behave. Like, hurry up. I want to get this done. But seriously, I'm not even lying or over-exaggerating. The strand mini boss does get distracted and focus on the bigger champion. Seriously. Like look at that. You can see on the left side. It's through. He does get attracted, distracted. And he just focuses on the bigger champion. And when he does that, that's when you get the DPS at the strand mini boss. And then once he's at finisher mode, then you can use your finisher. And then focus on being your champion but like I said before everyone's different I know someone may argue and say no actually you should just take down the bear champion see my problem is he just chases you and you have to use your super 
as much as you can and then take him down quickly. But like I said, everyone's different. I mean, you can go for that method. Just be very careful that the boss can suspend you. Be aware of that. So now I'm trying to see if the boss is going to focus on the barrier champion. I didn't want to use my super. I actually wanted to save my super for the champion for the next phase. The psychopathic phase where the boss just goes around and goes, what do 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 do? Hello, guardian. How are you? You know, it's going to try to, I would say, choke your guardian to death. But anyway, it is pretty scary. So now I'm trying to figure out where's the boss, the strand one, because he was not cooperating. It really, really looks like he just doesn't care about the barrier champ, he just wants to focus on me. I was a bit annoyed that he was doing this method. I mean, wow, look at him. He's just not focusing, but the mini, but his minions are focusing on the barrier champion, but not him. It was a bit annoying. I mean, eventually he will focus on the bear champion. I just want to show you. And for some reason, this video, he's just not cooperating so much. Alright, so hopefully he's going to cooperate. It looks like he is, finally. Like, my goodness, I don't know why he's just not cooperating so much in this footage at all. Alright, so now I'm gonna take a look, you know, see what he's doing. Should be focusing on the bear champion. And then this thralls in the way. My goodness, let me focus on the boss. My bungee goodness. So hopefully he'll be at finisher mode so I can just use my finisher. Because honestly, he's just taking way too long. He shouldn't even take this long at all. Alright, he's on his finisher, so if he is... You might as well just use your finisher. So use your finisher, just get rid of him. He's just a nuisance. And now you can deal with the bear champion. But like I said, everyone's different. If you don't like this method, which I'm sure 50% people won't like it, then just take down the bear champion and use your super at the strand mini boss. Simple as that. If you don't like this method. Yes, it does take a long longer I'm not gonna say it's the quickest. It is the safest. So now you just have to deal with the bear champion. You can take your sweet time. You don't have to worry too much. You know, just take your time, deal with the barrier. And then just make your way. Anyway, my bad for that. I almost was trying my best to take down the Taken Thralls at the same time taking down the Bayer Champion. He was just not cooperating, my goodness. Let me just go. Just let me take down the Bayer Champion. My goodness. But yeah, just be very careful. See, the reason why I didn't use my finisher is because he was close to lava. And it kind of terrified me because the last thing you don't want is use your finisher. Then you get burned by the lava, and then, yeah, that's really bad. I don't want to do many time skip here. I was farming heavy bricks. Alright, so now I'm going to pick up the essence, and now we're going to deal with the most psychopathic boss you will ever see in your entire guardian life. He is going to be a psychopath. So this boss is going to go angry, and he is going to try his best to choke you to death. In other words, he's going to try to take your guardian power. And then you pretty much, you're pretty much bungeed. Let's just put it in a nice way. I have to be very careful with the boss. So we're going to just rotate. So I'm going to be focusing on clearing the ads. I'm not focusing at the boss right now. The boss isn't really too important, but hey, if it does get ignition, you know, that's a plus for me. I was just focusing on the ads. And the one thing I like about the third phase is there's going to be many waves of ads.
but not only that, there will be an unstoppable champion. Now, sometimes there is a glitch, and this happens maybe 50%. So during my test runs on Master, and probably once in a GM this happened to me when I was on Graviton Lands. There are times where the unstoppable champion doesn't spawn at this phase. I know, right? What blitz? Seriously, it was so bizarre. I didn't understand. But most of the time, it does spawn. The Supple Champion. Sooner or later, depending how many ads you take it down. It doesn't depend of the health of the boss. It depends how many ads you are taking down at the mini waves. That's why I'm focusing. I just want to take down the ads and then just go one on one on the boss. I really hate this because the boss is following me. He's shooting his two void blade spears. And at the same time, I'm trying to make sure I don't use invisibility in the open area. Because he can take you down if you're just trying to use your dive. Like here, you can see for example. Perfect example. I'm using the dive with no cover. And then he almost one shot me. You see what I mean? Not over exaggerating. So yeah, you just basically have to keep rotating and rotating and rotating. Make sure you get a wall. But yeah, this boss is pretty scary. That's why I decided to just focus on clearing the ads. I mean, wow, this boss is really uh, aggressive. And he's also glitchy too. I mean, look at that. He just clipped there. But anyway, just make sure you keep rotating. So eventually, the Stuffle Champion will spawn. And if I had to be super honest, I think I did saw the Stuffle Champion, or could be mistaken. So just be very careful of your surroundings and always hear the footsteps of the boss. So now we see Unstoppable Champion, I'm going to just keep rotating, you know, let Dragon's Breath do its dirty work. And so far, he is behaving good. So now I'm going to go all the way over here because the boss is going to go over there and then come back to this spot. You know, I just have to keep rotating over and over. And then I can use my finisher. For some reason, Stoffel Champion was in the way. My bad for that. So once we take down the Stoffel Champion, now we can do some DPS at the boss. And yes, this is going to be... The DPS is not going to be the best best. If I have to be super honest. It did work. It is unfortunate I wasn't... 20, I would say 2020 power level, unfortunately. Because if I was 2020 power level, of course, Dragon's Breath would be more stronger because, you know, they put GMs minus 20 instead of minus 25. I mean, isn't that hilarious? So now I'm going to focus on clearing the ads. So hopefully we'll get this method done. Yes, it is a slow method, I'm not gonna lie, but hey, it works. It is unfortunate because I could have used a void weapon, but I really like the sidearm. I really like the solar sidearm, the craftable one. It's really good. It's really fun. I really wanted to use it for luminality. But we're just gonna go merry go death. Mary go death around the boss fight room. Yep, just keep running around. I mean, isn't this fun? Oh my goodness. I love this. The boss is just difficult to do precision shots when it's just running like that, like a psychopath. Like, how the bungee am I supposed to snipe this with thumbs? Alright? On a bungee controller. So we're going to keep rotating until he behaves. So 
during this boss fight, I honestly did not know how this boss behaves until halfway. Isn't that hilarious? I didn't know that he does this little roar and then he just runs back and forth. And then the mistake that I did was I double jumped and he could see he could still see me when the visible. See the trick is that you need to run and then just do a single jump. You don't double jump. And if you do that method then the boss can't see you when you're invisible. And see I didn't know that. I had to figure that out on my own. I had no idea that he can't see me if I double jump. But yeah, it's my bad for that. I'm trying to figure out where he is. And now I'm going to play a little Middle Gear Solid here. Looks like he's running from the left side. You know, I'm trying to control his psychopathic mode. I mean, my goodness. Just make sure you jump once. And then he should be able to go back and forth. Let's see here. Yeah, he just goes back and forth. Isn't that hilarious? But yeah, this is basically the boss fight. This is the reason why I didn't want to use Graviton Lance at the third phase. It just wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth it at all. And this is why many players will prefer using the machine gun. Because you could just farm up heavy bricks. And then just use the machine gun. So right now, I'm just doing some testing with this boss fight. I didn't know that you can stagger the boss with Dragon's Breath with the combo of Kinetic Tremor. See, I didn't know that until near the end. Well, until the boss's health was like a bit half. Then I figure out that you can stagger the boss. You can also stagger the boss with Stasis. And of course, with Ignition with Solar with a combo of Kinetic Tremors if you are not in Solar subclass. But you can see that he's getting staggered a bit because ignitions. And then later on, I'll start, I was trying to figure out, I was like, wow, I didn't know he can get staggered. Interesting. Very interesting. That's what I said to myself when I was doing the DPS method. Then I was trying to figure out if he's going to do that little roar. When he does a little roar, that's when he chases you. You have to see his animation or his movement of how he behaves. So now he's going to do that little roar. Hopefully you'll see it. And then of course the blade. So make sure you use cover. And then I decide to turn invisible. Try not to double jump. And then just see how he behaves. But yeah, this is basically what you have to deal with. Isn't this fun? This is going to be such a fun GM. All right, let's see where he is. He's somewhere. Oh, there he is. He's just doing a little, just hiding behind that rock. Isn't this just fun? My gosh, I love this. This is going to be a long GM. All right, looks like he's behaving. Doing two blades, two voids. See if you can stagger him. All right, he's doing a roar. All right, all right. Should have used another dragon's breath. You know, my bad for that. All right, I'm going to turn invisible. I'm going to go the other side and hopefully he'll behave. Trying to figure out his method. Because I notice he keeps going back and forth and then a walk. Like left, right, and then walk. He calms down. So now I'm going to go again. Let's see where he is. You know, I'm just going to be careful. You know, hopefully he'll do that little roar so I can know. Oh, there it is. There's that roar that I've been looking for through this entire video. So once he does that roar, that means he can see you. And that's when you have to use Dragon's Breath as quickly as possible so you can stagger it a bit with Connect Tremors. So then I was like, oh, okay. So I think I'm seeing the method what I have to do for DPS. So now I'm going to try again. Right now he's just acting weird, you know. He's going to walk back and forth. 
like running and then he's gonna walk so now i'm gonna do it again hopefully he'll do that roar that tiny little roar he's going like grr you know he didn't do it for this method but i did stagger him so we're gonna try again hopefully this method will work if not you know there is connect tremors And no double jump. Do not double jump. He can't see you when you double jump. Alright. He looks like he's behaving. Dragon's breath. Let's see if he does that little roar. Nope. He's still acting awkward. Come on, little roar. Finally. Gosh, his tormentor is so annoying. Once he does that roar, then I use dragon's breath. Keep using Kinect Tremor, but you notice he's staggered a bit with the conditions. That's what you want to do. That's what you want the boss to behave. You want him to get staggered, and then that's when you do a lot of DPS. So now I'm out of Kinect Tremor. Well, I'm out of Dragon's Breath, so that's bad. Not looking good for me. Let's see if I can stagger the boss without Dragon's Breath. I'm probably going to try to do that method. I don't think it's going to work if I have to be super honest. But hey, at least I'm trying. So we're going to try again. Let's see where he is. Looks like he's hiding somewhere. Could be at the right side. But gosh, he was way too close to me. I sense him. The power. The psychopathic mode. This tormentor is behaving. Alright. Looks like he's behaving again. I want to test this out. Can you stagger this tormentor without dragon's breath? That is the question. This boss is behaving so awkward. Alright, let's try again. Okay, let's see. Alright, no roar. That's a bad sign. No roar. When he doesn't do when he doesn't do that roar, that, that's a really bad sign. It means that he's gonna push. He's gonna spam his void blades way faster. And he will try his best to one shot you with its special ability, which I, I dare not share because it's not a fun experience. I would say it would do the bungee ability, which you would get bungeed and be sent back to orbit. So now I have to just rely on connect tremors. I mean, there's really nothing I can do. I mean, I could use my, well, sidearm, but I don't think it's going to work too much. I have to be super honest. Hopefully he'll behave because I really want many ways of ads so I can get some heavy. I was waiting for my invisibility, you know, hopefully he'll back away. Like, my goodness, this boss is behaving so weird. But you can see proof that Dragon's Breath is good. It does help the boss, especially to stagger him a bit. This is not fun. I mean, this isn't fun. I mean, why can the boss is held be nerfed. Well, actually, I can't really say nerf because I'm not at the right power level to even do this GM. I mean, I'm not sure how much damage I can do on minus 20. Alright, I have no bungee idea. I mean, I could test it out on Master Nightfall, but the problem is there was no Master Nightfall during this week because I was just using the, the check nodes. To finish this GM. But yeah. Notice that the boss. Is, behaves completely psychopathic. And I really don't like this third phase. I really hate it. I really hate that. This boss just spaz. And he just goes crazy. And then it's really hard to shoot. You know to do enough DPS. I mean like you can see here. Like. I'm, I want to stagger him, 
but it's not working, you know, unless I have dragon's breath. But what I could have done, which I didn't do in this video, because I just don't have the patience, I could have kept getting a bunch of heavy bricks at this shadow thrall, right? And then I could have right now just taken down the boss already if I had enough heavy bricks. If I was farming heavy bricks, you know, for 10 minutes, then, you know, this method, this boss fight wouldn't be so bad. But this is a punishment. This is the punishment of what happens if you don't have the ammo. If you don't have the weapon, then you have to spam your abilities. Or, or you have to use a sniper, but you gotta make sure it's precision shots or it's sniper's completely useless if you can't do that. See, that's another issue I have with this GM. I don't like that. But overall, I don't think Luminality is the hardest GM ever. It's just annoyance at the third phase. The third phase is the problem. I did want to use Osteo. Maybe I'll use Osteo next season. If Luminality is next season, I'll use Osteo. Hopefully. Not sure. But yes, finally an, a wave adds. I was pretty happy because I need some heavy. And wow, I found some heavy from back there and I didn't even know. My goodness. My goodness, but yeah, the boss behaves really awkward, so just be super, super careful when dealing with this method. But yeah, isn't this fun? So now we're gonna get shadow thralls. We're gonna see them a bit. So make sure you just take your time clearing the ads. I know it's this method's boring, but hey, we don't have any void weapons to make this easier. Now, another thing I could have done is use the special sidearm. But honestly, I didn't want to rely it too much. I was more worried about the boss sneaking up on me and doing the bungee ability. I dare not describe how it works when he does that. Let's just put it a nice way is once he gets you, that's it, man. You're back to orbit. You waste 50 minutes of your life, maybe 30 minutes of your life. And you really don't want that to happen to you. That's why I decided to go for safe mode and just play passively. But yeah, conditions really do wonders for this, doesn't it? Anyway, don't worry, we got 10 more minutes of this. It's just gonna get better and better. So when he does that mini phase where he's calling the shadow thralls, that's the perfect opportunity to use Dragon's Breath. See, I didn't really know too much about it because during this phase, phase i pretty much got bungeed you know i was keep getting one shot by the void blades and stuff this is when i was minus 36 power level right now i'm minus 25 or minus 24 i'm not really i don't remember at the moment I gotta be super honest on you. Doing this dive method it is annoying to do. It just takes too long. So just make sure you clear down all the ads. Just always be on a lookout at the boss. Because you th the last thing you don't want is your doing DPS as a champion or the acolytes or the solar knight and then the boss one shots you or two shots you with the blade or just sneaks up on you and does his ability the one shot bungee ability on you and that's just something you don't want to 
experience or deal with. It would just make you hate this GM and not want to touch it at all. Or play it at all. Like, on solo. Fire team is different, by the way, for Luminality. Fire team is way easier. I did play Fire Team on Luminality on Master Nightfall. I didn't do the Grandmaster one because I didn't want to lose my checkpoint because I wanted to solo it. That's pretty much the reason. And Master Nightfall is basically the same as GM since I found out GM's is minus 20 and Master Nightfall is minus 20. So it's the same thing. It's ruined. GM's are ruined. Master Nightfall is ruined. I mean, I'm so confused of the difficulty at the moment. It's it's just not balance. So once we do clear down the ads, so now we're going to be doing DPS at the boss. My gosh just gets better and better. Hopefully we'll do some damage. I was getting a little bad luck. They kept calling this shadow thrall at probably the worst possible spot where it's really hard to shoot dragon's breath. I was a bit annoyed. Another thing I forgot to mention is the shadow thralls do eventually disappear. They eventually despawn. So you don't have to focus on clearing them down too much. The reason why I took them down a bit because they follow you. But yeah, just make sure you use Dragon's Breath. Just showing you the Tormentor is behaving. Now you gotta do a little roar. Do a little roar! My goodness. So I can stagger this boss. Anyway, he was just acting... Very bizarre. Usually doesn't behave like that. You know, I messed up my super, so my bad for that. And yes, he does like to use his other abilities where he can suppress you. And I think he almost one shot me. But yeah, it is pretty ridiculous that the boss does this. Alright, hopefully the boss will behave like my goodness. Seriously, this boss is absolutely ridiculous. Alright, perfect. He's calling. I can do some DPS. You know, that was good damage there. Not bad. He's still in condition or scorch. So right now I'm gonna wait for the thralls to disappear so I can do DPS again. So let's see, where's the boss? He should be somewhere. Alright, just gonna... There he is. Hopefully he'll walk towards us a bit. Because I couldn't do my dragons, but he was hiding way too much near the wall. But yeah, so far so good. Just let dragon's breath do his dirty work. And he is just being extremely bizarre right now. He's just behaving weird. Hopefully he'll do that stand where he summons Shadow Thrall. I'm waiting for him to do that. Come on boss, hurry up. Oh great. really hate this boss. He just really loves to chase me and then when I turn invisible he's summoning his shadow thrall. Great. Perfect. He would make my life much harder than it's supposed to be. On fire team all you have to do is have I would say dragon's breath. And then stasis, titan, or prismatic stasis. 
And then Solar Hunter just keeps staggering the boss with stasis and ignition with Solar Subclass and you won't have a problem at all. You will keep getting stagger and stagger. Alright, come on boss, we don't got all day. Why are you behaving extremely frustrating? You are behaving so weird right now. I cannot believe it. Like, cooperate, finally. Please. That's all I want. I just want you to do that pose for three seconds so I can use Dragon's Breath. Sometimes it doesn't want to listen. Sometimes it does. It's ridiculous. Anyway, the good news is we're almost done. We're gonna take down this boss passively. Hopefully, unless he, he just behaved. My gosh, he really wants to press my character. Alright, let's see if he's behaving. I really just want to spray out. There he is. We're gonna shoot the back. Alright, there he is. Come on, boss. Hurry up. Okay, he got staggered a bit. You know, okay. Not bad damage. He's summoning the curse thralls. It's okay. So we're just gonna go back and forth. I didn't feel like rotating anymore. I just lost my patience, to be honest. I'm just gonna go back and forth and hopefully he'll behave. But you can see that he does shoot two blades. Just be very careful when dealing with this boss. And I almost have my super, so I'm gonna use my super. That way, this boss fight can be done and over it. Alright. Definitely gonna pull back, because he almost got me. Alright, I'm gonna go all the way to back from this mini area. Hopefully I can use my super. I want him to despawn. Leave me alone. Gosh, I did not mean to use invisibility like that. All right, boss. Come on. Use the stance. Okay, he's walking. Gosh, he just doesn't want to appear. But you can see this boss is just acting so weird. Okay, he did the blade. All right, not good. See, if I was minus 35, he would have one shot me and it would have been done. See, the power level matters when doing the GM. It matters. It's sad because when I was under leveled, I, c I was getting one shot from the boss because of the void blades, the spear. But anyway, we're almost done. I just have to be patient. I'm losing a lot of patience right now. Okay. Not cool. He is behaving extremely awkward right now. But yeah, sometimes the boss behaves so weird when his health is low. And then he does his Shadow Thrall Mellet method behind a wall where I can't shoot Dragon's Breath. Great. What else can go wrong? Okay, not cool. Well, I'm suppressed. Not looking good. So when this happens, just quickly rotate, jump for your life. All right. And hopefully he'll behave and not bungee shot you from behind. All right. So he's behaving. He's not acting weird. Looks like he's just standing there in a really weird, awkward spot. Okay, let's try this method. All right, he definitely is hiding in a weird odd spot. This is so awkward. He got staggered. The blade is dangerous. Couldn't see at all. Oh wow, shout out the rolls. 
They spawn and he didn't even summon them. I'm so confused right now. What was that? That was so random there. But yeah, these shadow thralls. Hopefully they'll disappear so I can use Dragon's Breath. Alright, they should despawn. Hopefully we'll get this done. You see what I have to endure, guys? I'm suffering. You guys are suffering with me. This is scary. My goodness. Okay, I need to hide over here. Oh, he still got me, even though I hide behind a wall. Absolutely ridiculous. Alright, hopefully he'll behave. Okay, he has tiny health. My gosh. He just doesn't want to die. Die, boss tormentor. I don't... I'm tired. I have a life. I just want to get this done and over it. Alright, I'm gonna run away. He is behaving so weird. That was an awkward defeat there. And yes, we definitely we completed the nightfall. It was awkward, but hey, it worked. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.